Is there a meaning behind your hair? Uh, no, nah, I just got tired of braids, and braids were getting played. So I just turned them into dreads. <laughs> I didn't want to cut it, but I didn't want to keep getting it braided, so dreads was the only thing that I can, you know, have to keep, to keep my hair and not get it braided. This length that we see today, how long has it been to get to this point, time-wise? Um, after the braids, so I just basically took my braids and turned them to dreads for like four or five years. This is four or five years right here. Mm -hmm. Do you keep it cut at a certain length or are you just letting it grow? What's yeah, the plan? I'm just letting it grow. I don't know how long I'm going to let it grow, but at this point, it's not in the way for real. Like it's, so I'm just letting it grow. Is there a pet peeve with the locks? Anything that bothers you that you cannot stand when it comes to the locks? Yeah, I just be having to put them in a ponytail when I'm shooting because it can get in the lens and mm -hmm. in the way. Like when I bend down like this, it's like basically covering up everything. So just put them in a ponytail for real. What's something you've done to your hair? Mm -hmm. And I don't know if the braids fits this question or not, but what's something you've done to your hair you'll never do again? Um... Before I even had braids, or something I would never do is let my uncle cut my hair again. He, it was right, but rest in peace, this is my uncle right here. <laughs> I let him shoot a, uh, I was talking about shooting a video. I let him cut my hair right before I was finna start at my new school in sixth grade. He was just supposed to line me up. He got to pushing it back further and further. Had to give me a bald head. Had to go to school. First, first day of sixth grade with a bald head. I was mm. sick. <laughs> now, something I've been seeing recently, and I've never seen men do this before, but um, what is your opinion on men with fake locks? They cheating. You can't do that. Like, that's cheating. Like, you, you go to sleep with a fro, next day you got dreads, that's cheating. What about coloring the locks? What's your opinion on that, men coloring their locks? That's, that's they... Swag, I guess. That's the that's they drip. I, I I won't color mine. That just ain't me. We've also seen men using interesting uh, colors we haven't seen before. Reds looking pink, blues looking turquoise. Yeah, people using all different type of colors. I guess that's what's in. They say they want some some flavor to their dreads. They don't want just the regular black dreads, so they just dyeing them all with other type of colors. Because everybody want to be different. So it's like, all right, everybody got black dread, I'm going to I'm dip mine red. Oh, he got red, I don't want to get red because then they're going to say I'm trying to be like him, so I'm going to get green. Oh, he got green, I'm going to get yellow. So it's like basically everybody don't want to be like everybody, so they're getting different colors. What's the public reaction you get from strangers to your locks, whether it's in your city, outside your city, traveling to a different state? A lot of people say they like the size of my locks. Like, I just got these size because I don't like, I can't sit there that long and get the little bitty dreads retwisted that long. So a lot of people that got dreads like, man, I wish I would have got mine your size because people be having them real small dreads and they be having to sit there three, four hours to get them retwisted. Little kids can be brutally honest. What do they say when they see your locks? Um, nothing for real. They, they don't have nothing to say. But yeah, little kids are definitely going to tell you what it is and they don't like it or whatever, but yeah, I ain't never had no look at them. Man. What about women? Do you notice a certain type of women that are attracted to you or not attracted to you since you've had the locks? Uh, no, I think it's all about the same. I think they, they like them, especially now that they're getting longer. You know, some women don't like when you got the little short mm. dress. They hate the little the start off fade, but mine was never really like on the head type short because like I said, I had braids so I had long hair already. So they was probably like up here somewhere. Sounds like you've had a uh, very positive um, response to your hair. I didn't hear anything negative in, in what we've just talked about, but do you feel like you've ever faced discrimination or stereotyping or profiling because of your locks? Oh uh, yeah, probably so here and there. Cause you know, people will say like, Oh, if you got dreadlocks, they think you're a hoodlum or this type of thing. But then when they get to talk to me, they're like, oh, that's a nice dude. I just got dreads. <laughs> Has there been an, a specific experience that was just the worst for you dealing with that? Or No, I've probably got like certain type of looks from people like, like, 
Like, let me watch my purse. He walking down the street with dreadlocks. Like, you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. not necessarily like a confrontation. Like, oh, you just because you got them dreads and I'm not like that. No. Never been bad enough where you felt like you needed to cut them. No, 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 no. I ain't cutting my hand for nobody. 